y'all hey welcome back to my channel so today this video is going to be all about what to do once you finally get that notary stamp i know you went through a lot you took your test you got commissioned now you need to know what's your first step that's what this video is for let's get into it okay so one of the first things i want to say you need to do once you finally get your commission is go to YouTube University. All of the information you need is gonna be right here on YouTube. So I don't really think, I know personally of another channel that literally goes through documents one by one, show you and tell you what to put in the spaces. I'm not saying I'm the only channel that do it. I'm pretty sure somebody else do it. I just don't know of any. So what I'm gonna tell you, go to my video library and you can see all of the different documents that I have. You can go through those and familiarize yourself with them. So, with them. so once you finally go to that first appointment, you get that call, you don't have to worry about like, oh my God, I never saw that document before. What am I right? No. And then the first thing you're going to want to do is say no, because you don't know how to do the document. Unfortunately, once you take that, that test to actually be commissioned as a notary, it don't tell you how to do the documents. Why? I don't know, but it just don't. So ultimately, you have to do your due diligence and do your own research and look at those documents. Because the next thing I'll say is familiarize yourself with your state laws. It's very important because if you do something you're not supposed to do, even if you don't know, you still will be on the hook for doing that thing wrong. So it's better before you sign your first paper, before you take your first appointment, find out what your laws are for notaries in your state. Every state have a different set of laws. So you need to familiarize yourself with it. Go on your um, state website and you will be able to download a free copy of your state guide for Florida notaries or for whatever your state is notaries. And you'll, it'll tell you exactly what you can and cannot do. Now, should you memorize it? No, that's going too far. But what I'll say is at least read it once. Jot down some important things that you think you need to remember. And if you have a printer, print that thing out. Or if you pull it up on your phone, save it on your phone. So if you ever have a question uh, about if you can do something or not, you can go back and refer to it. So it's very, very important. Know your state laws. Okay, after that, after you figure out what all of your state laws are, the next thing you need to do is, I know y'all already know, Google my business. That is so, so important. It takes a couple of days for them to even send you out your little postcard to validate your address. It takes some time. So this isn't something that happens overnight, but you need to set up your Google my business. That is the most important thing. It's completely free and that's what's going to help set your business apart from everybody else's business because believe it or not everybody don't have a google my business but that thing will really make you money and it's completely free so there's no reason you don't have one so if you don't have one go ahead and set that up that's the most important thing once you know your state laws make your google my business because once you publish it and you launch it then people can start calling you so after you start getting your google my business going I want you to go ahead and go on canva.com and you need to download it. They have a paid version and a free version. I talk about it all the time, but I promise you, it, you need it. It's so many different things that you can do with Canva. It, it's crazy that it's free, but you can do so much. And I'm going to post a little thingy right here just to show you exactly some of the things that you can do for your website completely free on Canva. Now, if you looked at that list, you see you can make invoices, you can do flyers, you can do business cards, you can make social media marketing things like little commercials and reels and all of that. Everything you can think of can be done on Canva for free. So it's no reason why every notary don't have a, a Canva. So for myself, I started out with the free one, but then I got the paid one because you get more you get more bang for your buck. But ultimately, if you want to start out with a free one, that's fine. Just start somewhere. 
Don't wait and say, I got to wait till I get my camp. No, no waiting. Today. Canva.com, go ahead and do that. Don't wait. Okay, so now you're going to have your camera set up. You starting on your Google My Business. You uploading. You're doing what you got to do. Next thing I want you to do, get you a professional looking picture. I didn't say a professional picture. I say a professional looking picture. And that means... With your cell phone, you don't have to have a fancy camera. Stand up against a blank wall. Have your child, your mom, your sister, your boyfriend, whatever. Take a picture of you with that blank behind you and crop it. You're going to crop it from like here up. The only thing you really need to see is from here up. You need at least one good picture where there's you're not in a car. You're not. You, it needs to look professional. That's what you want to put on your business card and I know some people say on your business card don't put your picture that ain't the truth because a lot of times when I speak with people that got my my business card from like a UPS or something I ask them what set my car apart from the other cards and they say well because I saw your face I saw exactly who I was gonna be dealing with the other ones was just words I didn't know who who it was so the picture makes a big difference in my opinion everybody moved different but for me, that picture made all the difference. So, a professional picture. Put on like a plain like this. No, not like this. Put on like a button up or a plain shirt. Something looks nice or dress or something. Stand up against the wall, gray or blue or whatever. Even if it's white, just do it. Take your picture. And later you can do another one, but you got to start somewhere. Okay, something else I want to tell you what is very important when you first start. Come up with your business name. That's huge. You need to know what it is you want to be known by. And whatever your name is, I don't know where I read it at, but it's the truth. Have mobile in it somewhere because when a person search you on Google, that's what they're going to be looking for, like mobile notary or mobile notary near me or anything like that. You need to put it on there because with Google, it's an algorithm. So if your business name doesn't have mobile in it, not just on Google, but on everything you sign up on, Google going to think that's fake and you just putting it on there just because. So make sure you put that in your actual business name. It's going to help you be found a lot. I promise you. Okay. So another thing that I didn't know when I first started, but I'm telling you, you need an acknowledgement or a giraffe stamp. So that basically enables you to put notary verbiage on a document in order to make it state specific. So it's okay for you to put your stamp there because if there's no notary language on it, you can't put your stamp there. But if you have a stamp, which is your acknowledgement or your direct stamp, that's going to enable you to notarize that document when that person signs it, right? So that is very, very important. If a person hand writes something or types something up or has some kind of agreement or anything like that, that don't have notary language on it. If you put it on there, then it's able to be notarized, right? So the place I know to go, I know for, you can go on Amazon, but then you have to know your notary verbiage for your state word by word. I don't want to even get into that. I like it when it's nice and fast and sweet. I go right to notaryrotary.com. Click Florida, and Florida verbiage comes up, and I buy that stamp. Like, it's just that simple. And I want to say it was less than $30. It might have been, like, maybe between $20 and $25. But I promise you, it's definitely worth it. So get your stamp off of notaryrotary.com. Something else that I think will be very beneficial is when you go on social media, join some notary groups. Get into some notary groups of brand-new notaries in your state locally that are trying to they trying to do it too and you can do something that i think that is very important and that is network with other notaries get you some notary buddies some people that know more than you some people that knew just like you so ultimately get you some notary buddies because what you bring to the table maybe they don't bring to the table and what they bring to the table maybe you don't bring to the table and you guys can help each other grow it's very important i promise you Something else that you need to do before you get started, you get everything going, you need to get a piece of paper, write down what you want to charge for your prices. 
I'm not going to tell you what to charge. I have a video that talks about that. You can go back and look at it. But what I will say is I was going through a notary group uh, a couple weeks ago. Did not see my form that I came up with, my prices that I shared with you guys on YouTube in there. And everybody was like dissecting it, saying no, the prices was wrong. Your price is not going to be my prices. You don't know how far I drove. You don't know what my state is compared to your state. So ultimately, I'm not going to tell you what to charge. But what I'm going to tell you, do your research, find out what you can and can't charge, and come up with your prices. You don't want somebody to call you, and then all of a sudden, you're trying to figure it out. And then the next time they might call you, you give them a different price. They're going to think you're not professional. So you need to write it down, and so you can kind of put it in your brain so you'll know. Okay, something else that I know you definitely should do is come up with your main questions that you want to ask when people call your phone. So when they call, you need to have at least three good questions or when they text to find out exactly how much you're going to charge them. So the main questions, I'm going to list them right here. Those questions are going to determine what your fee is going to be. And that way it will help it be consistent. So you won't tell them one fee this time and they call you two or three weeks from now. Now you have a whole nother fee. That's not going to work because they're going to feel like your price goes with your emotion, but it's not. It's your business. The last tip I'm going to give you is when you give a person a price, once you hang up, send them a follow-up text so that next time if they call you, you can remember what you charged them for that service. So your price isn't high and low, high and low. You can kind of keep that same that same price range with that person. So what I'll say is like, if somebody calls you and say, hey, how much do you charge? You give them a price. When you hang up, you text them, thank you for choosing such and such mobile notary. Your fee for two documents will be this price. And I'll see you within the hour. Thank you. Simple, right? Next time if they call you and they have that same document or they have two other documents, you already can look back on your text and see what you charge them. And that'll let them know that you're not just making up these prices out your head. You, It's a business and you're coming up with them according to the documents and the distance and the time or whatever. And I want to say thank you so much for coming by my channel. And for anybody that's local, I am thinking of coming up with some training for the local people. Where so maybe it might be two or three days during the weekend or maybe two full days a Saturday and a Sunday where I can do a training class for people that are new notaries that need to get their business started. And basically we can walk through the whole thing. Get your business cards, make your flyers, get your professional picture done, get your Google My Business started, upload some, like go over documents in person, practice them. So stuff like that. I'm thinking about doing a training like that. So if you're interested, DM me or you, my email is, it should be in the description. So email me or you can just leave a message under this video and just let me know if you're interested. I have had a couple of people ask me about this and I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. So that's what I'm thinking of coming up with. So, and I want to offer something. So I'm going to do that training, but then offer other things like maybe because I have this camera, which is a really nice camera. I can do like professional pictures. and So I don't know. We'll see.